about my Mortensen math blocks one day, and I really started paying attention to how pretty and attractive this nine was. It's this wonderful mint green, and it's so nice and tall. I started talking to it. Boy, you are such a pretty, pretty color, and you're so nice and tall. It must be wonderful being a nine. You know what? The nine talked back. Yeah, it is nice being a nine. I like being tall. I'm taller than most of the other blocks. But you know what? I really, really would like to be a 10. Why would you like to be a 10? Well, I'm a unit bar. And you know, 10s are the next largest kind. I really would like to be a 10. Can you help the nine out? Let's get our tray and let's put a 10 there. Nine wants to be a, you're right, nine wants to be a 10. What does nine need to be a 10? Nine needs a one. Ah, that's it. Nine with a one makes 10. And why does nine want to be a 10? Because it's the next largest kind. Well, I ran into an eight. I started talking to the eight. Now look, what do you see and what do you think of when you look at that eight? It's that nice chocolatey brown color. Boy, I bet you're just so happy being an eight. People must really like you. And the eight said, yeah, people do like me because I'm that chocolate color. color. And you know how many chocoholics there are in the world. Yeah, I'm pretty popular, but I really would like to be a 10. You know, nine said the same thing. Why do you want to be a 10? Because I'm a unit bar, and I want to be the next largest kind. I want to be a 10. Can we help the eight out? Here's an eight, and eight wants to be a 10. What does eight need to be a 10? Can you tell? It needs two. And guess what? Do you know what seven wants to be? Right. Seven wants to be a 10. What does seven need to be a 10? Seven needs a three. Yeah. Now, why did seven want to be a 10? Because it's the next largest kind. Can you guess what six wants to be? You're right. I can't fool you, can I? And what does six need to be a 10? Six needs a four. Young children love this. Can you hear them giggling over this? And when you hold up the five and say, what does five want to be? There's not going to be any hesitation, right? Five wants to be a 10. And what does five need to be a 10? They're seeing the pattern now. Five needs a five. The tray, self-correcting. And it's so easy for them to see this. Please note that I started with a nine. Now, why would I start with a nine? Because when we had that one missing, it's very obvious, right? The child cannot fail because that's the piece that goes there. And it's real easy for them to see that just the one is missing. And now we can continue on with this. Think about fun games that you can play with this want to be a 10.